So you may get a question or a scenario on suspected carpal tunnel syndrome. Quick video on the two main bedside tests that are often talked about, Balin's test and Tinnell's test. And the carpal tunnel syndrome is when you get that compression of the median nerve as it runs through the wrist. So in terms of symptoms, you get past these, a tingling pain on the area where the median nerve represents. So if you imagine my hand like this, that's the palmar aspect of my hand here. Usually you cover the thumb, the first finger, the second finger, and half of the third finger. So start with Phelan's test. Remember, P for Phelan's is prayer. P, prayer, Phelan's. You hold your, flex your wrist for 60 seconds in the inverse prayer position. Hold it like this, and eventually you may get a recreation of the symptoms in that median nerve distribution. That's your Phelan's test. P, prayer, Phelan's. Then you have your Tinnell's test. T, Tinnell's, tap. Tinnell's test is your tap test. So you tap along the area where the median nerve is gonna run through that wrist. And if you tap for long enough, eventually you may recreate those symptoms again in the median nerve distribution. So two key bedside tests. They don't diagnose carpal tunnel syndrome themselves. You have to look at history and the whole story, etc. but they're very useful to do and frequently come up in medical exams. So P, Phelan's prayer, T, Tindall's tap. Much more like this on our courses, audiobooks, and webinars. Hope this helps. Hashtag CanPassWillPass. Hashtag I went with Aurora.